Hey guys, welcome back to part three of our Blood and Guts series here on the Mangle Hitman cast. I've got some fun stuff for you. We're gonna get into this. Yes, it's our Halloween special. Uh, we've talked about uh, the blood flowing in your veins. We've talked about testicles. <laughs> and today we're gonna talk about plucking out your eyeballs. So let's get to it in just a minute right after this. Warning, applying these principles may change your life. People will look at you differently. You'll walk straighter, live bolder, and find out who you are. This is the Manlyhood Mancast. Here's your host, Josh Atcher. Hey guys, welcome back to the Manlyhood Mancast. I am so glad that you guys tune in. Listen, I love you and I appreciate you, all of my listeners, whether you're a man or a woman. I actually have a lot of women who listen, and uh, you know, that's great. If there's something that I can offer you that helps you be a better person or that helps you as you are, are raising boys, for example, awesome. Uh, but for the most part, most of you guys that are watching this are men. And I'm going to tell you, I am so glad that not only do you watch and engage with what we're doing, but you guys are just great. You're awesome. I love seeing you guys interact in our Facebook group, the Manlyhood Man Cave. Uh, if you're having trouble, you'll hop in there and share your trouble. And if somebody else is having trouble, you hop in there and share your encouragement. So, you know, we laugh and have jokes and have fun. And we talk about fun topics. But we really, honestly, more importantly than anything else, we are growing as men together and encouraging each other and lifting each other up, which that's a lot of fun. And it's it's been really cool to see that. And I really appreciate you guys doing that. If you want to show your appreciation for what we're doing here at Manlyhood, please Go to our YouTube page and subscribe, like, comment, share the videos, uh, or go to iTunes and leave us a review because that does help us spread the word so that we can help other men be better men. Another way that you can help support Manlyhood is if you go to manlyhood.com slash store. And there you can get t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, uh, and other resources, books, and things that we've created that can help men be better men. So we've been doing our Halloween series. And uh, I know, don't write me and tell me how... Uh, I'm a Satanist because we're doing a Halloween series. The bottom line is sometimes we can look at things that are dark or gross and find truth and light kind of hidden in them and woven in them. And so we kind of decided to um, do a series on some dark things or some gross things and try to find uh, some light that we can apply to our lives. Now, a lot of you guys know uh, Manlyhood is not a Christian blog. I'm a Christian. A lot of the guys in the man cave are Christian. I'm not ashamed of that, and we'll talk about it, but I want to make it clear that what we're doing, I really believe, is something that's universal, that whether or not you believe in God, or whether or not you believe in my God, I believe that there is some truth that we can find and talk about together. I hope that you would consider my God, right? I would hope that, and I hope that you know we could have some good conversations about that, but I'm not here to preach at you. But I want to make that clear because I'm actually going to preach at you. <laughs> I, I want to read a, a scripture verse, and I think that whether or not you agree with or believe in the same things I do, I think this scripture verse might have some relevance. So, uh, I'll put it up on the screen as I read it so you can kind of read along. Check it out. Matthew chapter 18, verse 7. Woe to the world because of the things that cause people to stumble. Such things must come. But woe to the person through whom they come. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fires of hell. Yikes. Now, um, there have been stories throughout... Christian history where maybe some monks have castrated themselves or plucked their own eyes out or cut their hands off. I want to make it clear, I don't think that Jesus was talking literally about doing that. Okay? So, you know, if you're like, okay, I'm out. Nope, I'm out. Whatever this Christianity stuff is, I do not want to pluck, pluck my eyes out. I'm not saying you literally have to do that. We're talking in some metaphor with an extreme degree for the sake of making an important point. But guys, here is the truth that I think we need to take away from this ancient scripture verse, is that if we are committed to be better men, there are things we have to stop doing. Stopping a behavior or a mindset that is firmly embedded in us is difficult. 
It's not easy. And you may have to take some extreme measures to make that happen. I can think of a time in my life where I was damaging my marriage with uh, a secret addiction to pornography and lying about it to my wife. And you know what? I really wish that I would have listened and done what I had to do earlier. But when I finally came to the realization that something needed to change, I had to take drastic steps in order to not do that. So no, I didn't cut my penis off or my hands or plug my eyeballs out, but I made drastic steps. I made drastic changes in the way that I interacted with the internet. I didn't work late after that. Uh, if I did work late, I was in the same room as my wife so that if she rolled over and opened her eyes, she could see what was on my computer screen. I didn't, um, I, I, I moved my computer so that if you walked in the room, you could see what was on the screen. I had to make changes that were that seemed like, that honestly, sometimes were a big inconvenience. But I had to do that in order to stop the behaviors that I had gotten really addicted to. Now, um, it's the same kind of thing if I'm trying to lose weight and there's food that I want to eat that I really like that I just can't have it in the house. If there's junk food in the house, I'm going to eat it. So I have to make a firm, hard divorce with those things if I want to see results in my life. So I think that honestly is the heart of what this verse from the Bible is talking about is, all right, if you want to make a change, if you want to not do the wrong thing, it's better to pluck your eyeballs out. Now, again, don't pluck your eyeballs out, literally. But if you're doing things or behaving in ways or, or being drawn to things that you should not do, don't put yourself in the situations where you're going to do them. Make drastic changes in your life that take you away from those scenarios. I think of my friend who's a drug addict. You know what? He had to cut people out of his life. He had to say, bye. I don't love you anymore. Get out of my life. You are toxic for me. When you're in my life, I go that route. He cut them out. They are no longer his friends. He uh, doesn't go out to the bar because that's where he gets tempted to get sucked into things. So you might be like, man, I have no problem. I can go to the bar and it's not a problem. Well, I, I, it may be the case, but if you have a problem, you shouldn't be there. You might have to cut that off, gouge that out of your life. So I just want to encourage you, like, if you want to make a change, you don't get a change without making some kind of sacrifice, without letting go of something. You can't be a new person, a better person, and still cling on to the old ways. So what is it that you need to change? What activities or behaviors do you need to stop doing so that you don't go down that path, that you don't go the direction you shouldn't go? Don't be afraid to say, look, I'm done. I can't have this in my house. I'm done. This does not belong in my life. I can't be around this person anymore. Don't be afraid to do that if you have to do it. Like, cut it off. Gouge it out. Get it out of your life. That is how we can overcome the things that keep dragging us back. So yeah, maybe a little bit gross to think about plucking our own eyeballs out. The bottom line is, if you want to improve, you got to say goodbye. Anyway, guys, that is my Manlyhood Man cast for you today. Listen, if you appreciate what you're seeing, please like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your buddies. Uh, invite them to join the Manlyhood Man Cave because I really firmly believe that together we can all be better men. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey man, I see you. I see your fire going out. I see your marriage barely holding on. I know you're broke, wore out, and at the end of your rope. I've been there, it sucks. It sucks the spark right out of you. Till all you have is a pile of wet wood. It feels like it's never gonna burn. I can't fix your problems. I can't make her love you again. I can't lose 50 pounds for you or fill your bank account. But I can remind you of who you are. I can share some of my fire. I can help you make a plan to get your life back on track. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's reignite our lives. There's a lot at stake. No one wants their marriage to end in divorce. No one wants to wallow in despair or to the dark places that follow. So let's do it. Let's reignite our lives. Let's reignite our passion, our marriage, our health, our career, our dreams, our mindsets. Get reignite today.
If you want to be a better man, check out our website, manlyhood.com, for blogs, videos, and more from our Manlyhood team. Men, you can also join our private Facebook group, Manlyhood Man Cave, where you can meet up with a band of brothers who will challenge you and help you on your journey of manhood. This episode is produced by Hatcher Media for Manlyhood.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the show. Tune in again for more of the Manlyhood Mancast. 